What's your best? The customer is not always right story. Worked in a store that sells ice cream cakes. Woman came in with half a cake. We thought it had be melted. Nope, much more concerning. Her son had a piece yesterday and got ill. They didn't make the connection until the daughter ate a piece that morning and also became ill. To say the least, my manager was freaking out. If there's some kind of food poisoning going on, the whole store could be shut down and it would be a huge mess. She passes me the cake and tells me to check who made it, so we can call it in. I open up the case, look at it, and it took every bit of control I could muster to not laugh in front of the customer. The cake was a Valentine's Day cake, and it was September. My manager had to explain to the woman that half-eaten ice cream cakes don't hold for a half a year, and the woman kept insisting we test it. Test it? Okay lady, we'll take it to the cake lab in the back. Johnny, fire up the spectrometer and get my good glass so we can get started on the titrations. I once worked at Kinko's, long ago. One dude was so angry, even as I started helping him. He asked for a bunch of coppers, I made them and set them down in front of him. How's that look? I asked. Well, you printed them upside down. Guy was edgy. So I turned the stack of pages 180 degrees. The guy says, I don't like your attitude. Some people are determined to be displeased. I was a furniture delivery guy in college. A woman ordered this high back red leather chair. We delivered it, and she complained about the grain in the leather. We explained that leather is a natural product and bears irregularities. If she wanted uniformity, she should buy vinyl. She got insulted and informed us in no uncertain terms that she was well off, and would only buy genuine leather. We took the chair back to the store and exchanged it for the other one we had, a floor model. We brought that one out and she did the same thing, pointing out things in the grain that she disliked. We took it back to the store and asked the owner what to do. By then the chair was actually no longer made, so he told us to bring the first chair again. We delivered those same two chairs seven times. She never caught on, and eventually decided she really liked the seventh chair. Which was of course, the one she originally hated. Similar thing happened to me when working at Starbucks. This lady ordered an iced mocha and I stupidly forgot to add the mocha syrup. Obviously my mistake, so I fixed it for her. She came back with it a little while later and said, I'm sorry this just doesn't taste right. I want a new one. I said okay, and started making her a new one while she went to the bathroom. I hadn't picked up her old one off the bar yet though, so she gets out of the bathroom, walks up to the bar and sees her old drink. She says, ah, that one looks better already. Takes a big drink and says, now see. This is perfect. And walks away. While I'm left standing there with her half made drink in my hand. She left before I could even say anything. I used to work in a patisserie. We specialized in wedding cakes. And this guy ordered a Noah's Ark cake. My boss made these cute little fondant animals going into a knock on the sides of the baby blue cake. The customer came to pick it up. And as soon as he looked at the cake. His nose scrunched up and he frowned. He said, this cake looks absolutely horrible, I demand a refund. As he had prepaid. I called my boss several times, but no answer, and I told him I could hold on to the cake until my boss was free and could call him back personally. He starts yelling at me, a minimum wage cashier, and demanded his refund. I told him I wasn't able to because of my position, and tried calling my boss again. He continued yelling. I asked him to calm down or I would have to ask him to leave. He yelled back at me one more time, I want my ducking refund. To which I told him again I couldn't do. So his response was to open the cake box, remove the cake, and throw it at me. I ducked, it hit the wall, and I told him in no small way that he wouldn't get his refund back, and if he didn't leave I would call the cops. The next day he called the patisserie and demanded to talk to my boss. She told him that since he threw the cake at her employee, and that he wouldn't just relax and let her call him back, he wouldn't get his cake and was permanently banned from the establishment. TLDR, some guy ordered a cake and threw it at me when I couldn't get him a refund without my boss. I want to thank you because your story reminded me of something that happened 10 years ago. I worked in a pizzeria. Well one night a woman called in an order for a large pizza. 
the woman shows up about 20 minutes later to pick it up. This woman had to have been about 7 or 8 months pregnant. The pizza had just come out of the oven. It was cut and boxed, and the cashier opened the box to show the woman it was her pizza and that it wasn't messed up. The woman took two of her fingers, stuck it straight down in the middle, and pulled them out. Look the cashier, cashier happened to also be the manager, straight in the eye and says, it's cold. I want a new one. You can see steam coming off this pizza. It was not cold in any way. It had just come out of a 550 degree oven. The manager explained that the pizza is not cold, she can see the steam, and that it had just come out of the oven. The woman was so pissed she picked up the pizza and threw it into the cashier's face. She then ran full speed out the door. The reason I mentioned that she was 7 or 8 months pregnant is so you can visualize a small pregnant woman run full speed, which was in fact a giant waddle out the door. One of the drivers got the license plate and she was arrested. She gave the cashier second degree burns from the scolding hot cheese. Seeing her run is one of the funniest things I've seen, and I had to hold back my laughter because the cashier was hurt. I picked up the cashier and tossed her over my shoulder, and ran her into the back where we cleaned the dishes, and sprayed her face off with water to get the cheese and sauce off as quick as possible. In college. I worked for a kitchen bath bedding superstore. There was a special on high-end pots and pan sets. Essentially, if you bought a particular set, $250-ish, you got an accompanying pan for one cent. The signage was very clear that the bonus pan was only a penny if you bought the full set. It was in large print. I was a cashier, and I rang up the pan for the regular price, $75, because she didn't have the set. She immediately exploded and said the pan was on sale for one penny. I didn't work in that department but knew that was bullshit. I called the manager up, who calmly explained what the special was. She said we were trying to scam her, and manipulate customers, and actually made us call corporate because we were too stupid to understand the sale. After she and my manager spoke to someone, corporate said to give her the pan for a penny and tell her we appreciated her business. I to this day, remain pissed that the woman was rewarded for throwing a hissy fit. I was working at a concession at a racetrack at the time, running the register. This one particular night it was super busy. It was the last race weekend of the season, we ran out of coke, and the deep fryer caught fire. I was at the burger stand and the line was crazy. This one lady came and ordered a burger with cheese. Trying to be quick, I yelled back to the cooks, one cheeseburger. She looks at me and huffs, no, I said a burger with cheese, not a cheeseburger. So I had to yell back, sorry, a burger with cheese. Cancel the cheeseburger. It's just one of the many moments in my customer service retail career that made me question my sanity just a little. While working at the store that was created in the very depths of Satan's anus, Walmart, I was pulled from my regular spot in apparel to the registers when they were having a huge wave of people. Having done registers two or three times, I was pretty used to it, and was only a little challenged with remembering the fruit slash vegetable codes and such. So anyway, I open a lane, and up walks a very wide, very tall man with a cart overflowing with food. Cool, whatever, I ask how he is, and begin ringing up his items. All is well and we're about $350 into his transaction, when the goddamn cabbage reaches me. It didn't have a sticker, and I didn't remember the code, so I quickly checked the chart by the register for the code, type it in, the scale weighs the infant sized cabbage and calculates the price, all is well. I go to back the cabbage when I hear, that's not how much that is. I double check to make sure it wasn't rung up multiple times, and explain that it costs sex amount per whatever weight. Cabbage is poor man's food, it shouldn't be that ducking much. I'm not paying that much for cabbage. Once again I try to explain to him that it's all based on weight, and I can't lower the price of his cabbage. After yelling at me and berating me over this, he wants to see a manager. Fine, duck you, but fine. So I call up a manager who is obviously already very done with everyone's shit, and explain to him what's going on. He tells the customer exactly what I did, but offers to remove it if it's really that big of a deal. Guy says no, it's fine, whatever. 
At this point I'm nearly in tears and just want to get back to folding t-shirts. I finish ringing up his items in silence, while the customer keeps telling me how I should at least offer him a discount or give him the cabbage for free, since I caused so much trouble. TLDR, fat man screams at me about the price of his cabbage despite his entire purchase being around $400. Used to work in a pharmacy. In Ontario, Canada, if you are 65 plus, the government will pay for your meds once you have paid a certain amount in a year out of pocket. This was 7 years ago, so I don't remember exactly what the amount was, but it was around $250 or something. Basically starting in August you paid for all your expenses out of pocket, until you hit the magic number, then the government paid for everything minus the dispensing fee. Anyway, 4 months and months ahead of time, we would give reminders to the older patients who came to the pharmacy, saying, okay, next time you come in for a refill you'll have to pay the full amount. In approximately 80% of cases they did not believe me when the time came. Would start yelling at me, threatening to call their doctor slash lawyer kids or grandkids. Pharmacist would inevitably have to come over and defuse the situation. Repeated every year for the 4 years I worked there. Back in the day of working a shitty drive through I had a guy in a new car come through and proceed to hit a polo wall on his way up. He began to yell at me about how this car just cost him $40,000, and he is expecting compensation for the damage we did to his car, and how it's all our fault. I told him that if he is going to buy a car that expensive he should be able to drive it properly, which I know was rather rude, but 15 year old me had no patience for anyone like that and then rang up his order. He then went off again about how we should be compensating him for his car, and he couldn't believe I was going to still charge him for his meal. Sorry buddy, I am not responsible for your inability to drive. I'm a cake decorator. We recently had a customer pick up her cake which had a printed picture of a high heel shoe that she sent us, on top. She goes, what the duck is this, and starts flipping out. Banging on tables screaming at the top of her lungs in front of other customers, trying to fight the owner, threatening to come back with a gun. We had to call the cops. Turns out, she had wanted a lifelike edible version of the shoe, not a printed picture. So all this, because when she ordered the cake she did not know the difference between 2D and 3D. Worked on a ferry dock that sent cars over. On a fairly busy day, a woman came and parked her car in the ferry line and then left. When the ferry came, we had to load the cars on the ferry, customers drove them on first. Well, this woman wasn't back yet, so we had cause a huge confusion on the dock trying to fish out the cars and trucks behind her. We finally got everything loaded and sent the boat off, only about 5 to 10 minutes late on a tight schedule. Woman comes back and sees that we skipped her and starts bishing at me, an 18 year old lowly dockhand and starts bishing hardcore about how we weren't allowed to skip her, and should have went looking for her. I told her that we've never done that, and how she caused us to be late. She then asked for my superior who luckily backed me up. She then still not convinced called the owner of a ferry because of course she knew him. That's when I thought I was ducked, because even though I knew I was right, I thought the owner would take the side of his friend. However. He stayed on my side and offended me, much to the anger of this woman. We got her on the next ferry, and I told the captain to put her car on the side that would get the most water from the waves, and he smiled and did so. A few hours later the owner of the ferry came over and bought me an ice cream, telling me he was sorry I had to deal with his bishy friend. TLDR, got ice cream from my boss because bishy customer thought time revolved around her. I had a customer read my name tag when I worked at a local coffee shop. He then looked at me and said, that is a very peculiar name. I mentioned to him I was named after an automobile. He then proceeded to tell me that I could not be named after an automobile because that is illegal. Me being polite just went along with him. Until he told me that I should change my name because it was copyright infringement, and that he will report me to the right authorities. I really hated that job.